Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Howard Reed. And I'm Frank Sullivan. You're watching History in the Making. For decades, you've seen us in crisp, dependable black and white. But tonight, we bring you something truly modern using state-of-the-art technology. That's right. When we press this button, everything changes. Colors, rich and bold, beaming straight into your living room. Red will be red, blue will be blue, and your television will never be the same. Ready, Frank? As I'll ever be. What just happened? Well, uh, most of us are in color. The producer just told me you're still not. That's right, Howard. It appears we might be experiencing a technical issue. We're trying to figure out what's causing it. Maybe it's, a, it's the camera. Let's try camera two. I don't think it's the camera, Howard, but we're checking now. It's probably something to do with Frank. Are we sure we're getting signal? Or does he still look like a newspaper obituary? He still looks black and white in all our cameras. I don't get it. Why am I the only one stuck like this? I don't know, Frank. Could be a lens issue or some kind of skin tone calibration problem. We're going to roll to commercial while we get Frank sorted. In the meantime, don't go anywhere. We will return after these messages. Real housewives need strength, support, and stamina. That's why we invented the Trimtone Domestic Exerciser. With Trimtone's patented weighted suction technology, every room becomes a workout zone. The more you clean, the more you burn. And so today we have a special story for you. You might remember the story of Frank Sullivan, the television anchor who, during the first live color broadcast, remained stubbornly black and white. At the time, it was blamed on faulty cameras, bad lighting, or operator error. But year after year, test after test, the same result followed him, earning him the nickname, The Colorless Man. Today, we know the truth. Mr. Sullivan emits a constant, invisible signal, a frequency that disrupts chromatic information in his surroundings. This effect is consistent across all known recording technologies. We've tested every major color camera without success. It's not the cameras, it's not the lights, it's just Frank. By every scientific measure we have, he is a living source of anti-chromatic interference. Unfortunately, without a flawless color broadcast, we won't be able to sell Frank's appearance to sponsors. If we can't fix this soon, we might all lose our jobs, or Frank will lose his. In a world where color became the standard, Frank remained locked in black and white. And to this day, no technology, no treatment, no theory has been able to change that. Frank Sullivan is, quite simply, the only man we know of who color could not touch. And now back to the Late Midnight Show with Martin Hale. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is someone you might remember from the golden age of television, or at least you remember everyone around him. Please welcome the colorless man himself, Frank Sullivan. That was quite an entrance, Frank. Thanks, Martin. It's good to be here. You've had quite a ride, Frank. You were actually the face of television. Then one button later, you became a technical difficulty. Perhaps you can tell us what happened in your life after the switch to color. I think you've all seen the famous moment. After it happened, I lost my job and my career took a dive. No station wanted to hire a grayscale anchor. Every year, we kept testing new brands of cameras that support color, but none of them worked. Then I decided to switch to radio. No one cares what you look like there. You can be invisible, or in my case, desaturated. <laughs> <laughs> and in that time, you found love, is that correct? I did. I actually brought a picture of our wedding day. I think the audience would be curious to see it. I have it right here. 
It looks like you lost a lot of weight for your wedding day. Glad I didn't lose more color. Just look at it. I look like I don't belong there. Funny thing, people said I looked like someone cut me out of a newspaper and glued me in. Does your wife mind that you show up colorless on every camera in the world? As far as I can tell, she's fine with it. She says at least we never argue about shirt colors. <laughs> I'm with her on that one, actually. <laughs> Do people ever accuse you of faking it? All the time, actually. A kid once asked if I escaped from an old movie. And every time I go to a costume party, I don't wear anything special. People say, you're not in costume. I just smile and say, wait till you see the photos. <laughs> Wow, Frank, I didn't expect it to cause you such problems. I have to ask, though, what about kids? Are they in color or grayscale like you? We decided not to have any children. I just didn't want to roll the chromatic dice. I mean, seriously, can you imagine a colorless baby? Having lived this life, I'm worried that I might pass this trait to my kids. I know what it's like to be out of step with the world. I wouldn't wish that kind of visual loneliness on anyone. So you think it's genetic? We don't know, could be me. Or maybe the universe ran out of pigment the day I showed up. <laughs> <laughs> but aren't you curious to know what your kids would look like if you decided to have any? Of course, I think about it all the time. Would they come out in color? Would they fade near me? What if only half of them shows up on screen? That's a lot of variables, Frank. Frank, I've heard a lot of stories on this show, but yours, yours is definitely the only one that would break a color TV. Thanks, Martin. You know, I do sometimes pretend I'm what normal looks like, and the rest of you are the anomaly. Maybe you're just a bunch of oversaturated shapes trying to make sense of a noisy signal. <laughs> <laughs> well, Frank, thank you for joining us today, and we hope to see you again soon. This is our headquarters, as you can see. My team and I have been working very hard to launch the first edition of our photo editing software. I think it's going to disrupt the market. This, this right here, is Color Touch Pro. It's our latest photo editing software. It's custom built, not just for photo editing. This baby can restore color to literally any vintage black and white images. We've been dying to test it on something iconic, something the entire world has seen. So we picked the big one. I think you've seen it too. The colorless man, the wedding day shot. No one has seen it in colors until now. So today we're hosting the colorless man, Frank Sullivan. We're going to show him what we have been working on. I just hope he likes it. Frank's story inspired me to create this company. I hope we can change lives with it. I'm currently putting the final touches to Frank's wedding picture. We're actually colorizing it pixel by pixel. Skin tone is a very tricky one. We also don't have any references for the colors of his clothing during his wedding. So we are just guessing based on contrast and shadow. This is the first time I've seen an image of me in crisp color. Until now, I've only seen paintings, sketches, and some crayon drawings. I absolutely love the result and the effort put into this. Although I have to say, some colors were not accurate. The suit was light gray, this one is blue. And the tie was a softer gray, not the reddish tone they picked. Also, that flower on my lapel, it was a white carnation, not green. Mr. Sullivan just told us the colors of his wedding clothing, so we're going to create another version that's hopefully more accurate. I can't wait to see the new version. It's amazing what technology can do these days. Researchers at the Visual Memory Lab in Berlin have used deep learning algorithms to restore one of the most iconic moments in television history. 
the failed 1960s color transition of anchor Frank Sullivan. Unlike previous restoration attempts, this time the restoration was carried out with direct input from Sullivan himself. By referencing his personal recollections, including clothing, environment, and skin tone, the team produced accurate, true-to-life results. The project is part of a larger effort to restore color to every known image and video of Sullivan across his lifetime. But tonight, we bring you something truly modern using state-of-the-art technology. That's right, when we press this button, everything changes. Colors, rich and bold, beaming straight into your living room. Red will be red, blue will be blue, and your television will never be the same. Ready, Frank? As I'll ever be. are in color. The producer just told me you're still not. That's right, Howard. Every the frame the they threw away to out what's causing it. built the Maybe man the I am today. Didn't glow, didn't shine, but I still crossed that finish line. No ribbon, no Just the quiet truth of wanting more. But I live, yes, I stood through the storm. Love like a flame, struggling to stay warm. Now I see it frame by frame. Color never meant the same. It's not how bright your story shows, it's who remembers how it. I gave my heart, I paid the price And that, my friend, is the color of life